Hello there my friends, welcome to my another video. Last week we finished building um, this tiny little Chieftain Mark V from Tecum in 1 to 70 second scale and today we are going to paint it. So today let's see how you can paint the Berlin Urban Camouflage on your Chieftain or perhaps a Challenger in 1 to 70 second scale using only a brush and some needed paint. So first I uh, prime the model using ordinary black color from Viejo. Now usually more professional Professional primers are used to help you keep the paint on the model, um, but um, since I don't have an actual primer, I only use ordinary acrylic color, and I use it mainly just to give the model a single color that every other color um, comes from, and therefore there won't be any different shades of differently colored materials, for example. Um, the whiter parts won't be lighter than the darker parts, if you understand what I mean. Then I um, started working immediately on the Berlin camouflage. I went with the variant that is um, with blue. So what I did was I mixed ordinary white and with ordinary blue to create this really light blue for the base color. I know it's not perfectly accurate, but I think it's a nice representation and I've never worked with such a color. So I diluted it using ordinary water and I applied it in several very thin coats using my biggest paintbrush. Now if you apply these paints in coats Eventually you will end up with a um, paint job that looks almost airbrushed. The, the trick that I use to speed up this process, because I understand waiting for each layer might be annoying, is that I blast the model with a hairdryer from a bit of distance, but be careful with this because it does, does bend um, really thin parts, mainly the gun and uh, the swing arms for the wheels if you are not careful. But as you can see, after painting the model in several coats, I ended up with a really uniform, really nice layer that doesn't cover or clog up any details. I started working on the digital pattern of the camouflage, since these digital patterns on this camouflage particularly are pretty big. What I um, decided to do is that I took one of my newest brushes that is, um, you know, blocky and I slowly applied the uh, pattern onto the model. I started with white, this was again layered, and if you do this really carefully and you keep your hand steady by either holding it or, I don't know, putting it onto your table, this way you can uh, uh, make really nice looking um, digital patterns even without masking, which is uh, essentially exactly what I wanted to try doing, see if it's possible and then teach you how to do it if it is. And as you can see, unless you don't like how it looks, it is quite possible to do really nice looking digital patterns using only a pretty new brush. Of course, the white was layered and then I um, continued on with the brown uh, that's also used on the camouflage. I used some references, but I mo more or less just freehanded it. I probably shouldn't have, because some of the blocks are kind of weird, um, but I am pretty happy. And while I still had the paint on my brush, I um, gave a light coat of the brown to the tracks, because this gives them a really nice rusty effect. Then I painted the stowage, if you remember from the last video, I made it from um, polymer clay. I painted in, it in different shades of green, brown, buff, just, you know, anything you would see tarps and bags painted as. Then I gave the model a quick coat of white dry brush. And it was ready for some chipping. So using sponge chipping method, I um, started chipping the model with 
Russian uniform green or well any military green that you would like to use because looking at the reference photos of um, vehicles with this camouflage it's usually well it's always painted onto a green vehicle and what usually happens is that uh, the uh, white and brown layers get chipped to blue and then the blue gets chipped to a green and I just went with the green right away. I was skeptical about how this will look, but it ended up looking pretty nice. So I moved on to the wash. I used Viejo dark grey wash on the entire model. I'm not sure if this was the best idea considering how light the colors are, but it ended up looking pretty good. I just had to take care not to um, overdo it with the washes and uh, dilute them properly. So I, um, so I applied the wash um, diluted with water only around the details um, making sure I don't put too much wash onto a model because then it will be easy to um, overdo where I did go heavy-handed was the back of the vehicle mainly the engine deck because this part would get probably dirty from oil I'm not sure, but I just wanted the um, grills to be visible, I guess. Then I blended it using ordinary tap water, as you've seen me uh, do many a times on my previous models. And the model got another dry brush um, with blue. I first dry brushed it with blue. I don't know why I did that, but I did. And then with white again. And honestly, looking back at the footage, I should have just left it like this because it looked pretty perfect. But I continued, continued on and I applied some rust effects. Um, to the parts that I would expect to get rusty, mainly the side skirts, also the um, turret. Now I know chieftains in real life weren't extensively used basically by anyone, not even the British, apart from Iranian soldiers, but this um, model isn't made as an uh, Iranian tank, but more so as an um, imaginary tank that fought in some alternative universe. Think of it as if um, I was building a model from the universe, uh, some of the war games um, that uh, people play um, is based in. Anyway, this rust wash was also blended using tap water and then I started applying the um, Viejo Figmat Acrylic. Now, you could definitely use this acrylic just as a mud effect, but I more enjoy using it um, as a sort of a texture um, that then I paint over. Now, I don't paint all over. Uh, over every single part of this because it still does have a nice color and it still does look like mud um, But I'm not using it completely as just mud because that wouldn't be all that realistic Unless the vehicle was completely clean and then went into mud um, but otherwise I um, applied this um, all over the lower hull and also all over the wheels and the tracks using references And then came my tested and tried method of um, heavily, heavily, heavily diluting um, acrylic buff color, then applying it everywhere um, to create um, dust effects. I applied it all over the lower hull. Um, don't worry, it's not going to look uh, exactly like this, it'll look way better once I'm done. And then I started applying it on the uh, tank, like the upper hole, mainly the side skirts because they are a play perfect place for dust streaks, which is one of my favorite details. So this is what you can see me doing here, I am um, pulling the 
paint downwards to create a streaking effect. This was um, dried and layered until I was happy because one layer isn't completely enough. Then the model got a thin coat of, uh, again, the flat brown from Vieco. This will give the model a muddy appearance. Then afterwards I um, gave uh, the model a coat of, well, speckling. I speckled it with um, buff color. This creates the effect of splashing mud all over the vehicle because, you know, the mud would splash all around. Um, and then dry brush with white and with buff and the model was basically finished. So I would like to thank you for um, coming with me on this journey of painting this vehicle. I really hope that my techniques were helpful to you, that you could have, um, you know, you got inspired by something. Maybe even the, um, you know, digital camouflage and how I painted it. This could be used on different camouflages, for example, the um, Ukrainian one, um, but I will leave that up to you. Again, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing, giving me a like and commenting. Perhaps share this video with someone you think might be interesting, uh, interested in it. If you'd like to support me financially, you have my Patreon down in the description. Um, and also my um, Amazon wishlist if you would like to uh, buy me supplies or some models that I have there that you would like to see me build. Thank you again for watching and I will see you next week in with a model from the land of the rising sun.